Sir, do you have any metallic items on you? Keys, wallet, loose change? Holy sh... The MP5K, first introduced in 1976 by H&K as an even more compact version of the already compact MP5 submachine gun, the MP5K was designed for extreme close quarter engagements in clandestine operations and close protection, favoring portability and concealability over accuracy. This concealability was taken to the next level, with H&K even offering a specialized briefcase with an MP5K hidden inside. However, as we all know from various films, the best way to shoot an MP5K is obviously dual wielding. Hi, I'm Andrew and in this week's video, I'll be reviewing the new Umarex MP5K Early. The Early designation is noted specifically because this is a replica of the original 1976 MP5K, unlike the 1991 MP5K PDW that Mark reviewed last year. So let's get into it. Externally, the Umarex MP5K features a gorgeous stamped steel external body with almost exacting dimensions as the real thing and features fully licensed H&K markings on the top over here. The gun itself obviously feels rock solid and is packed with period correct details such as the indented lower receiver, the complete lack of a stock and the lack of any barrel attachment capabilities, unlike its later PDW version. So let's start at the front. As mentioned earlier, there is no barrel-based attachment point, and the gun features a fixed front sight post and a tiny, tiny fixed forward sling mount that I'm not really sure will fit in many modern slings. Underneath though, is the nice ergonomic foregrip fashioned with this lip over here to prevent your fingers from slipping over the non-existent barrel and getting blown off. Safety first. Now, if you remove the front handguard, which has an incredibly tight retention pin, requiring use of this hammer to remove, you'll find a rotary hop-up adjustment dial, complete with tactile clicks that are fairly straightforward to use. Now, just a little further back, you have everyone's favorite MP5 charging handle. As many of you know, just pull it back and lock it up to hold the bolt open. And once you're done, you can do the classic HK slap to keep it shut again. Over to the rear and you have here the 20th century HK style rotary rear sight. Except in this case, the sights are open instead of your typical closed aperture sights. And they're also identical on all four rotary settings. The rear sights are also so wide, there are significant parallax when looking down them, made worse by the absence of a stock. So that even if this gun is ballistically accurate, there would really be no practical way to practice precise shooting with it. Behind that is the rear sling mount, ideal for a single point sling to either hang from or to brace yourself against when trying some form of aimed shooting. Underneath, we have a right hand only change lever for Siche for safe, Eisenfeuer for semi, and uh, fun mode for the only setting you truly need. This right hand only configuration also carries on to the ergonomic polymer grip, where its thumb rest feels great when carried right handed, but awful when gripped from the left. Onto the trigger, and like many other historical guns, there's a slight take up, but no discernible wall before releasing the action. Not really a big deal as, yet again, I doubt you'll be practicing precision shooting with the MP5K. The magazine is also made of full steel and is your typical VFC style MP5 GBB magazine. It fits in right in easily, but is quite a bit of a tight fit initially, so you're gonna have to go and break it in quite a bit. So the Umarex MP5K early pretty much has the most realistic MP5K externals and functions in the entire industry. But how does it shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the chrono. As usual, we'll be firing 0.2 gram BBs with green gas.
And now for the accuracy test. Now, full disclosure, by now it's pretty obvious that the MP5K is not a precision weapon. It has no stock. In fact, you're supposed to actually brace the sling against yourself in order to shoot precisely. Not to mention, its sights are very open and pretty awful when it comes to precision shooting. Nevertheless, I'll be shooting at a target 15 meters away from a standing supported position. So let's get going, shall we? All right. In top. Let's try. Oh my God. It is loud and sounds amazing. All right, gosh. Well, suffice to say, regardless of the accuracy, this MP5K shoots and feels amazing. Very snappy, very fast rate of fire. Most importantly, very loud. You, know, you go full auto on this, it is going to ring your eardrums if you're a bit sensitive. Aside from that though, when it comes to accuracy, I'm not very sure of it because even when shooting from a supported position, the complete lack of a stock or anything to brace against, and not to mention these really, really open sights make trying to get a decent sight picture, let alone hitting anything, extremely difficult. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. So let's check it out, shall we? All right, let's... <laughs> okay. Well... See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not even gonna bother drawing a grouping diagram because it's only taking up the page. But hey, as mentioned earlier on, it's abundantly clear that the MP5K is not a precision weapon, especially with its open sights and the lack of a stock. That being said, still hits on target. And let's be honest, it feels amazing, all right? It's loud, it's fast, it's everything you want it to be. It's made of full steel, it's ultra realistic. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Anyway, let's head back to the studio, shall we? And we're back. So the Umarex MP5K early looks, feels, and shoots as well as we've come to expect. Bloody amazing. So let's rank the thing. For fun factor, we give the Umarex MP5K four out of five stars. It looks, feels, and shoots fantastic. It's loud and has an insane rate of fire, just like the real thing. Only downside could be the lack of a stock, but hey, it is historically accurate though. Now, speaking of realism, the realism for this gun is an outstanding five out of five stars. Literally everything about this MP5K, from the steel receiver to the markings, rate of fire, and even the lack of a stock is true to the real thing. You literally cannot find an early model MP5K as realistic as this one in Airsoft, period. On performance, we give it four out of five stars. It shoots hard, shoots fast, and that insane rate of fire is just the cherry on top. Obviously, it would likely perform significantly better if it had, say, a stock, but that wouldn't be realistic and frankly not what this gun is about. Build quality gets yet another five out of five stars. The full steel receiver is already an outstanding addition even without the variant specific details and rock solid tolerances. There simply is no downside to the build quality of this gun. On value though, at a fairly hefty 400 US dollars, we're giving this a 3.5 stars out of five. It's pricey, but how many other full steel early model MP5Ks do you see out there? Collectability, we give it four stars out of five. While the MP5 is a popular model of airsoft gun, the MP5K early is not, let alone a GBB version, which means you're almost certainly getting a relatively unique gun to play on your field. Overall, we give the Umarex MP5K early an outstanding 4.5 stars out of five. This is easily the most realistic airsoft MP5K of its type, period, and it has the performance to match. Whether you intend to use this for skirmishing, a wall hanger, or even a movie prop, 
it's hard not to be impressed by just how much effort and detail has been placed in this gun. Well done Numerex and VFC for knocking it out of the park once again. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Umarex MP5K early? Let us know in the comments section below as always. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redwolfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, call sign Flood, out.